There are many revolutionary technological disruptions that are happening now thanks to crypto and blockchain technologies. Revolution is a very strong word, but you'll understand why it fits perfectly for today's topic. In this video, we'll talk about DAO Decentralized Autonomous Organization. This innovative technology will be an integral part of our future. We'll get into detail about DAO and why it's changing the paradigm. If you like this content, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This will help the channel grow and we'll be able to upload more useful and interesting content in the future. DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization. This means that no one controls it. In other words, there are no people behind it that are influencing the project. Everything is happening thanks to a computer algorithm. Imagine the process like a coffee machine that can not only take money and pour the coffee you want, but can also refill itself, pay its own rent, and clean itself on its own. And all that without a manager to take ownership of the process or owner to collect the profit. Everything is written in computer code, and that's where the famous expression comes from. The code is the law. Such DAO projects can be built thanks to smart contract platforms. Smart contract platforms include Ethereum, EOS, Cardano, Polkadot, Cosmos, Tron, Solana, and many, many more. The main leader and dominant platform is Ethereum. Almost any decentralized applications, or dApps, are briefly built on Ethereum and can fall under the category of broad decentralized autonomous organizations in that they're also called decentralized applications. It's extremely important to know how different technologies works, as this allows us to capitalize on incredible opportunities that are happening right now. Let's now learn about how a DAO project works. It all starts with one or a group of programmers who decide to create a specific DAO project. When the code is written, and most importantly, checked for errors or bugs, the project has successfully passed the auditing process. After the auditing process is done, there's the so-called funding phase, during which the DAO tokens are sold. These tokens are similar to shares from a company, but without the ownership element. You do not own part of the DAO project. These tokens give the right to vote. The tokens are so-called governance tokens, and they go under the category of utility tokens. The purpose of voting rights with governance tokens is to give you the right and freedom to vote for changes in the protocol, as well as propose changes to the protocol itself. If consensus is reached among token holders, the changes get implemented. Having such a solid ground of democracy and rights to change the future of the project only by holding these tokens automatically changes the paradigm of the world and shifts the paradigm of strong centralization which we're used to. Modern institutions have pyramid shapes of decisions established over many years, but with these new methods of ownership, we get the right to choose the direction in which the project is developed. The DAO revolution has the potential to transform our society into a place that works on the principles of direct democracy. Everyone can propose a referendum to vote as the decisions are made by every token holder. Thanks to the blockchain, everything is transparent and can never be changed or manipulated. Also, certain DAO governance tokens also bring you passive income in the form of dividends that come from the profits of the DAO project. In that way, all profit is redistributed back to token holders, and there are no high-stake owners to collect the majority from the profits as we see in traditional capitalism. The idea for such decentralized autonomous organizations has existed for many years. However, the first successful projects were created in 2016, and in particular, at that time, the DAO project was created. Because until now we've spoken generally about DAO technology, we should mention that the first DAO project is actually named after the technology DAO, thus being called the DAO. This first DAO project was created as a virtual venture capital company. Venture capital companies are companies that invest and fund startups and newly created companies with high potential for profit. Another key thing for the so-called VCs is that they fund a company before it becomes public and later on can make large profits from selling shares on the market. If you're enjoying the content so far, you can support us through Patreon for only a dollar a day. You'll get future access to more content covering these topics. The idea of the first DAO project was as follows. One would deposit one Ethereum and receive 100 DAO tokens. Each DAO token gave the right to vote, so you can vote for a specific project to be funded. 
If a consensus was reached among DAO token holders that this project deserved funding from DAO, the Treasury automatically sends the specified amount to this project and all token holders would potentially profit from its future development. However, in 2016, the so-called DAO hack happened, in which an individual or group of hackers managed to drain $50 million in Ethereum. The media called it a hack, but it's not really a hack in the sense of a cyber attack. It's just that the malicious people saw an actual weakness in the code and took advantage of it. This weakness in the code was skipped by the DAO creators and was failed to be recognized in the early stages of the audit process when the code check was performed just before the project was released live. This has tarnished the name and idea of this type of organization for a while and forced the Ethereum smart contract blockchain to make a fork, and thus the blockchain of Ethereum split in two. Few people know about this, but the original Ethereum is a classic Ethereum. The Ethereum we refer to today as Ethereum is the newly created one, which was created after the hacking of DAO and the fork. This was done to get the hacked money back to the people. Let's take the example of Uniswap, which is currently the largest successful DAO project. Uniswap is the largest decentralized exchange in the world. Nobody controls the protocol. Uniswap's token plays two functions. The first function is that this token allows you to vote for various protocol changes. The other function is that anyone who holds Uniswap tokens can be paid a percentage of DEXA's winnings, as each transaction has a certain amount that is earned by Uniswap. Unlike Coinbase and Binance, these profits go all the way back to Uniswap token holders. No executives, managers, or owners can collect a large amount of profit. The improvements that can be related with such DAO projects are numerous. They start with a much higher level of security, nobody controls these platforms, and no one can escape with the money if the code is audited correctly. Since everything is public, the code is open source. It can be seen and inspected by everyone. There's also no way for governments to come and put pressure on a certain individual or institution as it can with centralized companies. These DAO projects are controlled by all token holders who are scattered around the world, making the projects extremely secure. The other main problem that's solved is the fact that everyone can benefit entirely from the development of one project. You don't have to make millions and billions from the founders. Everything can be won by the people. This leads to both lower and cheaper fees as you don't need to pay office rents, salaries, all this money is saved and goes to the people. If you're wondering who creates these projects, they're created by extremely capable programmers with good hearts. But since it is perfectly normal for founders to be rewarded appropriately for their work, especially if that work helps people and society, these programmers usually keep a small part from the circulating tokens that are created. Thus, they can benefit from the price increase and can also earn passive income if the project pays part of its profits. But for such a project to be successful, the programmers must own a very small part of the tokens, as everything is transparent and all the information can be seen and inspected. No one would invest in a token that would be known to collapse at any time if a large group sells the stock. The more distributed the possession of tokens, the more secure and decentralized the project. Let's go through some future ideas for DAO projects, which will most certainly be adopted. For example, take a company like Uber. Let's say that a group of programmers creates an application similar to Uber. DAO projects are in no way different than a normal application for smartphone or PC. The only difference is in the code and how operations are performed, something that we as customers don't look very deeply into. The problem with such an application would be that somehow you have to get drivers to switch from Uber to this DAO app, and it must be more competitive in the market. The main competitive advantage of this app could be just to be cheaper than Uber. This would be a huge problem for some of the centralized Uber competitors, as Uber has already taken the biggest market share. To become competitive, they also need to burn tens of billions of dollars just to try to get where Uber is. In the end, their success cannot be certain. However, if a group of programmers decided to create a DAO copy of Uber, switching to a decentralized DAO app can happen a lot easier. Uber customers can migrate to this new and decentralized app as it will be cheaper and save a lot of costs because there will be no staff or owners to collect all the profit. Drivers can also adopt this platform as they will simply be told that they can be paid in this token, which has the potential to rise in value and pays dividends from the profit. For the driver, nothing really changes. They just drive people like normal. But suddenly, 
they start taking money from two places instead of one. The first from their normal daily transportation and the second from the dividends they received through owning the token. The concept itself is truly revolutionary and such projects are already under construction. Facebook, Instagram and similar social media platforms are also seeing huge competition as people with the DAO token for project copies of the social media platforms can profit from selling the personal information or just deny selling and distributing it to others at all. In essence, these projects are new companies based on existing companies without all the extra costs. The control could be entirely in the people's hands. The future looks pretty bright thanks to crypto and blockchain innovations. The opportunities in the coming years will be huge when it comes to such DAO tokens. But to take advantage of such opportunities, you must be very familiar with the technology and innovation. Before you invest in such projects, please also research and invest wisely. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel.